Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new project to share with you. Uh, but uh, first, uh, some info. Uh, I've got some questions why I didn't go for an uh, other year on uh, Graphic 45 and uh, that's because I uh, need some time this uh, summer to uh, be with uh, family and friends and also do some work outside. Uh, but I still will uh, be creating in raining days and so. So uh, there won't be so many projects from uh, me this summer, but from uh, autumn I will do full-time creating again. I really love Graphic 45 papers and uh, I will continue working with them. And uh, I'm looking so forward to uh, get the new uh, papers now. So <laughs> then I uh, think I will sit outside in the sun and fussy cut some images to use in projects. So I also made uh, some uh, other project with uh, Botanical Tea a while ago and uh, that I will be sharing later. This is a, a typography uh, desktop organizer and a configuration box. And uh, this I started uh, last uh, autumn and I didn't had uh, time uh, to finish it up. So now I found it again and uh, and uh, finished it up. And this was uh, a lot of fun to do. And uh, there are two sides on this box, so it's a configuration box on the front and uh, there are um, writing uh, desktop on the other side, so I will show you. So for this I used uh, the beautiful papers typography from Graphic 45. And I'm not sure how much paper I used here. It's a lot because it uh, holds a lot on the back side and uh, yeah. So um, we can maybe start here on the front and uh, I, then I will turn it around and show you a bit fast and then I open this and show you the bits and pieces I made inside here. So uh, the thought of this was uh, I wanted to uh, recreate a sort of uh, typography uh, office. I haven't seen any and I didn't uh, Google search for it because I just wanted to uh, use my fantasy and uh, yeah, see what I came up with and make it a bit uh, old and uh, dirty and uh, messy and so. So yeah. So then we can start maybe on the front here. I cut out the typography and layered it on a label from uh, Spellbinders here. And this I cut out twice. and. Um, or three times I think and layered it and the glue together with Claudine Helmut Multimat. And here is a key and keyhole from Graphic 45 and also Brad here. So this I just painted random a bit black and that I did for all the metal pieces from Graphic 45. And here is, uh, <laughs> now I don't remember the name for this, where you um, uh, wait your maybe that's the right uh, name, your letters and so. And uh, this I think he layered four times and popped up. So, And all the pieces here, if you see, they are a bit black on the outside. So I first, first you cut them out and then I outlined it, outlined it with a sig pen and then glued it on black cardstock to create more depth in it. So uh, all, and yeah, and then first I cut it out one more time. So here the top is, I'm uh, not sure it's showing up, but I will take my camera off later, so I'll give you a close-up. So it creates a more dimensional look. So that I did for all the bottles, and I put in some pens here, and there's a book, and uh, here I just popped up uh, the label here. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot going on here. And for the sides, the hinges here. These are also from Graphic 45, but there's uh, some old ones, so I don't think uh, it's so easy to find them anymore. So then I think uh, I will open this up later and just show you around uh, the box a bit first. So see if I can get it in frame here, if I move it a bit. So on the side here is... Uh, uh, this is a uh, Tim Holtz uh, feather and uh, ink uh, bottle here. So I cut that out of uh, black cardstock. And yes, I also used the 6x6 six six paper pads uh, 
to uh, um, there isn't any uh, six by six to go with this uh, paper line, but I used uh, a lot of different others from Couture and the good old sports, and they uh, coordinate so well together. So this is what I used here, and this uh, is the pocket I made, and here it says typography and the my type, and this uh, label here is a die from Tim Holtz, and then the. Uh, um, clip here that I glued on some um, chipboard cutouts. And here it says typography. Yeah. And then we can turn it one more time around. So. And here is uh, the other side. And here I used uh, a lot of uh, metal uh, tags from Graphic 45 that I also painted a bit black and uh, layered it with some paper. And this paper here is from a proper gentleman. And uh, here are some knob and ornate uh, metal plates here, a doorknob here. So this on the sides, and here is a locker, and that I found on eBay many years ago. So I had a door, I wanted to change uh, the lock, but I didn't do it, so I used it here. And I glued it also on a, on a metal tag here that I bent a bit. So uh, I need to have something to fasten the top on. And here is a little tag that I made. And this is, here it says, it's a good day to write your story. And here I fussy cut out a little uh, typewriter and uh, made a loose, uh, this can be taken out here. So just for fun. So I'll place it inside here again. And uh, yeah, some light bulbs, and uh, this is a book that's uh, some pages inside here. And this is a die from Marianne Design. And a clock or compass, this is. <laughs> and uh, some pens, and yeah. And here it says, Write your story, and this is also loose, can be taken out. So I just, when I layered this, this is uh, layered four times, I cut out smaller and smaller pieces here. So this can stuck behind inside here. So, and uh, here is a tiny little um, booklet. This is also popped up and uh, can be opened like so. And here inside it says create. So, and close this up again. So here I just made a tiny little belly band for this. And some key and uh, here is a calendar. Also, some layers here and some bottles, and uh, yeah. And uh, I use some mm, uh, tree feet for the bottom with some twine around. I'm not sure it shows up here because it's black, too black. But yeah, so then we can open it up like so. And here is a place for writing. So uh, I think I will take my camera off the tripod now and I hope I don't uh, make you too dizzy. So we'll see how it goes. So here you maybe can see all the box here. And here is a writing place. That was the flip that folded down. So, uh, and here is a magnet. So you can place some uh, magnet things here, notes. Uh, to keep it in place, and also these uh, are loose, uh, so you can stack a note inside here. So I just uh, placed them here for now. And this I haven't glued down. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it on, or yeah, I think I will glue it down. And uh, here are some uh, drawers, and uh, these I got from uh, Butterbee Scraps. Uh, she has a lot of. Uh, uh, fun metal uh, things to use in your uh, projects. So I will link to her below if you want to have a look. And uh, on yeah, in the drawers I will show you in the next part what's in them. So I will uh, make several videos of this because else it will be too long. And uh, here I have um, this is a file folder. This is a mini album and this is a, a sort of a junk journal so that I also will make separate videos of. And uh, inside um, here
here is uh, some pens that flips out. So I just uh, take this and pull it. So maybe take out here one and show you. So I just glued one of the pens from the paper line on a regular pen here. And also uh, this one I uh, took the washi tape around. And I really love to use uh, the new uh, washi tape from Graphic 45. So it's one type here and one here. And then I uh, took up some cheese, no, <laughs> keys on uh, the end here. <laughs> so, yeah. So then uh, I can put this inside again. And maybe show you a bit on the top. So, um, here are also the ornate metal uh, plates and the doorknob here from Graphic 45. And this is also some new, so I think maybe it's hard to find now. But this is also random painted uh, black. And here are some um, uh, button brads from Graphic 45. And um, yeah, here you can see is stamp uh, for letters. And this to go with it and uh, these ones are uh, uh, pencil sharpeners like so so this I found uh, on eBay I just uh, typed in uh, um, pencil sharpeners and found this and uh, also for uh, the other one here on the side here so I just glued some on the back here and uh, repositional uh, glue so it can be taken off because uh, need to have this open when you sharpen your pens. So this is a camera and here is a sort of, um, I'm not sure what this is called, time uh, counter or something. So this was uh, some white plastic here so I uh, just covered it up with uh, some twine. And uh, yeah, like so on the top, so this stands here. So now for the other side here. Let's see if I can, I think I need to close it up and move it a bit, so I'll be back. So here is uh, the other side, and here I made an um, uh, envelope with um, Your Memory Keeper's uh, envelope punch board. And I really love that tool, you can make so many fun things with it. I also have uh, used it for some tabs and so. So inside here uh, there are some... Uh, Tags and so. Let's see if I can pull it out. Yeah. So that's the side, and um, I also wanted to give you some close-up of uh, things on this side here. So I move it back. So you maybe can see the dimensional of the things here. So this. So some layers here. Yeah. A little booklet and the typewriter. So maybe show you from the side here, maybe you can see the dimensional. It's hard to uh, see it on film, I think. So, yeah. There's a little book. Like so. So then I will move it around and uh, show you uh, inside the configuration side. So we'll see if my arms are long enough so I can open it and uh, uh, you can see it here. But maybe I mo need to move in a bit. But the closure here are some magnets behind here and also on the top here. And uh, this twins uh, around here. But uh, I think I screwed uh, the sides here a bit too tight on. So it was uh, standing up a bit so I need to have a closure on the top here. So here I have some Velcro behind here. So maybe you can see now it pops out. So I uh, should have uh, taken these sides a bit not so tight. But uh, when we do mistakes we usually can fix it. So then uh, this is a chain here. So then we can pull here so it opens up. So it's a magnet behind here and also behind here. So I just covered it up on the sides here. So then we can open it up. So, like 
so so I can show you here. I use some acetate inside here. And also all this box is made from a chipboard. And I had planned to make a tutorial or a, a picture tutorial on my blog, but I totally forgot to take the first pictures and then it was too late. So sorry, there will be no tutorial on this. But it's uh, really easy uh, to make if you are used to make some 3D uh, uh, things. I just uh, made the, the sides here and uh, the bottom. And then I glued in the middle part and then I glued the top part on. And then I made uh, the shelves inside here. So, yeah. So here is the other one. So had a lot of fun fussy cutting here and uh, here are a lot uh, going on. So I uh, can maybe give you a close up here on the top here. I made some uh, tiny books and uh, these are also very fast to make so I will show you how uh, to make them. So maybe in the end of the video or maybe I make a separate video see how long this uh, film is. So. Uh, all this is loose so it can be taken out and here I have a tiny telephone inside here and also this fan or I'm not sure what it calls I uh, was gifted from a butterbee scrap when I ordered some from her so thank you so much so maybe take out a little book here and show you so all this is bounded with uh, washi tape so Take it down so you maybe can see it's a working book so you can write something inside here. So and this is also layered a bit on top I think. Yeah, just cut it out twice. So this uh, paper here I bought some ex extra off and also the black uh, coat papers so I used a lot of them. So yeah. And here is a key and here is a globe. So I haven't glued it all down because I wanted to show you but I will glue them down later. So this I glued on a uh, coin. And this I got from my friend Linda. So thank you so much Linda. So place it inside here. And here I made some dividers for letters and uh, envelopes and this is made uh, from a um, McGill punch, if I can get one out here. Oops. So, a little card inside here. So, I can put it back later. And some uh, cards here, like so. And I uh, have some stamps here, inside here. And some um, letters, metal uh, envelope. So, here it says letters. And uh, this was an old uh, locker I had. And uh, this is the Tim Holtz uh, pen nib. And uh, for this side here, here is also a little book and a candlelight. I made this was uh, for cake uh, candle. Yeah, so I just uh, glued. Uh, uh, the top here was uh, from a uh, glass I cut uh, uh, off a sharp and also this here and I bend up the side for this uh, coin here so it looks like a tiny uh, yeah, light kind of light and um, inside here maybe take out the book so you can see it here is a, a typewriter from Tim Holtz Let's see if I can get it out here. Oh, black on black doesn't show up so well. So this I've um, crackle painted some stamps and yeah. And here I rolled up some paper. It says typography and light hanging down here. And I also have a um, working clock dangling down here. So here I uh, just have a hook from uh, one of the keys from Graphic 45 
and this I bent up a bit and this idea I got from Olga on the design team uh, last year. So thank you so much Olga for that idea. And uh, if you do this please be careful because they can uh, break so uh, do it uh, very gently. I did <laughs> break a couple of them but uh, then I found out I had to just move it a bit on the time. Don't be hard on it. So then for the next uh, section here, here uh, I, I can take these two and you see on the back here a lady and a man that I crackle painted and these are movers and shapers die from Tim Holtz. And uh, yeah here I made a tiny little stamp pad. Just down and show you. This opens and I made a stamp pad inside. So it closes up. It's really tiny. As you can see, uh, so fun to make all these uh, uh, parts and uh, try to figure out what the typewriter use. So, yeah, and this also can be taken out. And here I use the movers and shapers from Tim Holtz, feather and uh, the ink uh, bottle. So this uh, feather I just glued on, see if I can do it on with one hand here, on the little uh, pencil. So can be used. So this I cut out uh, several times and uh, cut out the side parts and uh, so it will hold the pen. Yeah. And uh, yeah, see what else, a little loose book here and this is uh, from uh, P Prima, uh, it's a time, <laughs> I'm not sure the word, but uh, you take the time with it, same as on the top. And here I have some tiny glass bottles, and this I did uh, glue down. And uh, these uh, pencils here, I just uh, cut out some old, or cut off some old uh, pencils I had. And some tiny glasses inside here. So just glued some acetate for the glasses. And a little tiny book behind here as well. This also can be open like on the front. So. And then we move down here. Here is a uh, uh, wallish, I think it's called. So I can take it out like so. so I'll take it in my hand so you maybe you can see it. So just put in some bits and pieces and glued some uh, keys on the inside here so you can see it from this side maybe creativity and some twine on the bottom and some metal pieces uh, letters in the bottom and uh, also have a little see here <laughs> a locker here with some keys and these are from uh, I'm not sure the company I tried to figure it out it was in a can with a lot of these and they are new so I will write it on the screen so this actually does uh, work here. So and uh, yeah, and then um, here I was um, temperature here, and uh, now I can't remember where I got this one. And uh, this is uh, old uh, from a, uh, I think from a typewriter, and uh, here I uh, tried to make a little a brayer get it out and used the new wire from uh, Prima. Really love this uh, wire. So uh, just rolled up some paper here. And a tiny little book inside here. So, and uh, this one is uh, from uh, Tim Holtz. So it was silver and I painted it black and went over with uh, some uh, gold. So, so tiny little booklet inside here. So uh, yeah, typewriter inside here and another little book. And uh, yeah, been there. <laughs> so then we can go move on to this side here. And here is another tiny little book and here is an uh, oven, uh, old-fashioned oven. It was in, uh, it's made out of uh, wood and I think it's from Pandura but I'm not uh, sure. And then I tried to make a typewriter, <laughs> sort of uh, hat. Let's see if I can get it off here. 
this. So I just uh, used my punch here. It was a circle punch and then I cut out a bit of the sides and um, glued on a string on the side and I glued one on the back as well. So, yeah. And then there is... Uh, <laughs> here. And then I, uh, this is uh, from uh, Tim Holtz that I glued on the side here. And a clip, and I think this is from Seven uh, Gypsies, and I glued on this uh, metal letter here. And on the side here is another key that's uh, bent up, and uh, it holds some keys. So here are some old keys I had, some from Graphic 45, and an old one I had. And uh, yeah, and it, here <laughs> is a stamp uh, from. Um, See if I can find uh, from uh, this uh, stamp set here, and uh, it says uh, Art Journey. Uh, it's a Netherlands uh, stamp uh, company, and uh, uh, I saw this uh, first on uh, uh, Renje at the Crea boutique. Uh, she uh, does some videos with uh, tags every week, and uh, I really. Uh, gorgeous tags and fun. She has some gorgeous techniques. So I will link to her below and there you also will find uh, the link to this uh, company here. So they have some really fun stamps. So <laughs> I love this image and uh, it's a bit steampunk but I thought maybe he looked like an old uh, typograph. So yeah. <laughs> and uh, inside here I have uh, another little book. So all this opens up. Some I used plain paper and some I used uh, a paper from the paper line. And this is a telephone die from uh, Tim Holtz and this I glued uh, inside. And I crackle painted that one. And here are some uh, stamps from the paper line and uh, an old uh, little typewriter. So this I also found on uh, eBay. So just uh, type in uh, miniatures for dollhouses and so. So then you can find a lot of uh, fun stuff there. And another little book and I glued on a book, book from the paper line on the side here to hold this down. And I also made, it uh, doesn't show up here, let's see here, a stamp. Uh, not sure what this is called either, but this is supposed to be wet and, and then you uh, take your stamps on and uh, glue them on uh, the envelope. So that was uh, that part and uh, now for the top part. Here I have a locker again. And this I'm not sure where it comes from. So and uh, a little uh, sharpener here. Like so. And another little book. And uh, this uh, see behind here. I can hold it up maybe. So this one is from Tim Holtz and number, number plate. And uh, yeah, then I think I've been around here. So uh, maybe show you the clock on the top. It's also a working clock. And this I got from Fiona's Jennings 644 shop. So I will link to her below as well if you want to have a look. So uh, this uh, will be the first uh, part of the project and uh, then I will show you in the next video what's uh, in the drawers. So I hope this is a bit inspiring and uh, I know some of you who are maybe new to scrapbook and maybe say this I can't do. But uh, we all start at one place and uh, uh, just uh, maybe if you can use some ideas and make uh, maybe take uh, the book or maybe the uh, yeah this one or just uh, start in the small and uh, and uh, uh, use your imagination what you can make and uh, we all make mistakes and uh, yeah so just have uh, fun with it and uh, don't give up the first time if it doesn't work so yeah <laughs> And I think I will make a separate video of uh, this uh, booklet, how to make it with uh, washi tape. So I will link to that uh, below as soon as, as it's uh, uploaded. 
So thank you so much uh, for watching everyone and uh, if you have uh, any questions please look below the video in the description box there you will find some information how I answer questions. So take care and uh, bye bye.